Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, as you know, the world is going through a crazy crisis, the COVID crisis. Um, I've been on lockdown for almost two weeks now. This Saturday will be two weeks. I haven't really left the house in two weeks, so I'm going a little stir crazy, but you know what? I'm doing this to keep my son safe who has asthma um, and my mom safe and my family safe and it's completely worth it. Um, this little sacrifice will eventually you know, bring all of us to a better future, a safer future. And I'm really excited, you know, for what the future holds. I know it's a weird time to talk about excitement, but I feel like we need to constantly stay excited, get excited, and just look forward to the future because thinking about the now can get really depressing, especially if you see the numbers of the you know cases and the deaths. And it's it's been very heartbreaking, but I just keep telling myself that there's a few better future ahead and let's look forward to that and um, the best we can do is stay home keep the people in our life safe um, and I want to give a special shout out to all the frontline workers you know doctors nurses people who work in groceries uber delivery people like anyone on the street who are working and giving a service so we can stay home and have all the things we need um, thank you so much we really appreciate it so um let's start so i'm going to first start with my fenty beauty foundation as you know um i'm obsessed with fenty beauty it's my thing um also i found this new thing that i've been doing maybe i should just do that so i okay let me oh, this is going to go backwards let me start with the elf um primer face primer because i don't like primers because it clogs my pores but uh, i don't know i'm just going to try primer today because I just want to. It smells weird. It smells like nothing, but whatever. We'll see. I don't really wear primers. I don't know. I have dry skin, so I don't really need to. Also, guys, can I appreciate my skin? Can I really take the time to be like, this quarantine has really given me a glow up. Like, my skin is bomb. Um, I've also been using retinol and vitamin C at night. So, Maybe that's what it is. And it's not going in the sun. I look pale as fuck. Like my legs are pasty. But I still look cute. So. Okay. So I am going to. I wore my e.l.f. primer. And then I'll put my concealer on. I know it, people do it backwards. You're supposed to put concealer and then foundation. But I feel like when I wear concealer and then my foundation. Like. It just looks kind of cute. Okay. I'll, like once I'm done. You can like tell me if you like it or not. So. Um, the news lately has been pretty depressing. I say that because just, you know, watching the number of, um, people affected by this go up and, you know, some people, you know, it, it's, it's not true that it only affects uh, old people. It also affects young people. And just knowing that there is, like in Italy, like so many, you know, older generation has like, suffered this and passed away it like really sucks because like we were actually planning to take a trip in Italy this summer it's obviously not gonna happen but you know we researched and looked up all the places and it's heartbreaking to know that a place is like that beautiful with such good people and they're so generous and just such amazing people that are going through such hard times like I think Canada as a country like we are trying our best um our lockdowns are very serious like we are taking this very seriously we are you know holding each other accountable so we stay home we are supporting each other and honestly like i felt so much love and support and everything from people around us in the community so it's it's been it's been really nice but you know it is something that we're all going through together and we have to stay together to get through this um, then I use my Fenty Beauty Foundation. On top of that, um, just exactly right before um, the COVID crisis started in Canada, I had just been laid off from the cannabis sector because of their financial restructuring and they are going through a lot of losses. Um, so they had to really cut the company, probably in less than half, I'm not sure. And you know, I was already, you know, I had start, started looking for a job and I was interviewing and 
like in my heart I thought that maybe I'll come to Canada but it's not gonna be that bad like we'll get over it pretty soon but you know looking at the numbers everywhere it's it's so scary like literally it's so scary that this virus doesn't just take like certain kind of people it takes anyone and everyone away like you know you might sit there and think that you're safe but it's young people being affected and you know what really bothers me is that like it's not like us who are not taking seriously it's like it's like the kids in their 20s they think they're invincible and you know they go out i see these kids like just hanging out i see them at parks and i'm like guys like you might think you're invincible but you're gonna bring it home and you're gonna affect your parents you're not gonna affect someone else's parents you're gonna affect someone's grandma is it really worth it so you can have that five minute of sun outside? Like once this is over, you can do whatever the fuck you want. So, very disappointing. But hopefully we can hold each other accountable and really get through this. Okay, so next I um, powdered my face after I put my foundation. I, I don't know why, but I've been really liking wearing my um, foundation over concealer. I'm blabbering a lot. I should... I don't know, I'm not preaching, I'm not preaching sis, I'm just like stating facts. Okay, then I'm going to use this um, MAC pigment. It's a pigment, and it's, it's a naked. Um, I've had this for a while and I really love this for like kind of nude looks. You'll see, you'll, like I really like it. I don't use it often because I got like a sample and I've been holding on to the sample for the last two years and I'm like really cheap when it comes to using the sample. I only use it sometimes. I love it. So one day when my sample is out, I'm probably gonna go buy the whole jar. Um, but it's it's a beautiful like it look. I don't know why the lighting is so weird, but um, it, it's really nice. Once I'm done the look, you can see by yourself. So yeah. Um, and you know, I don't know if you. You guys have kids, but I have a, I have a six-year-old son, and um, it's hard because what do you tell a six-year-old about the world? Like what's really happening in the world? You know, you have to filter stuff, and you have to be mindful of what you really tell them. You don't want to freak them out, but also you don't want them to understand that it's serious. So, you know, I've been telling my son that we are going through. A corona crisis and you know it's, it's tough right now but we're gonna get through this and he is such a cute little young man like he understands and he's been so patient not once has he asked me to go outside and play we play in our backyard but not once has he like been like oh I want to go outside and do this and that so I'm really proud of my little man he's been so good um, the first day of quarantine, I actually went to the park, which is like right there, like close to my house, like two minutes walk, and there was nobody there. And and I just like went out, and I'm like, oh, I understand how serious this is. The streets were empty, and I haven't left since. Um, we only go out for grocery, which has been like twice, because we ran out of food, but we were trying to stretch out our grocery as much as we want. Noah knows that we are not going to waste food, so... He's very mindful of how much he takes in his plate, how much he eats. Usually he'll throw tantrums sometimes and be like, I don't want to eat this. But he's been so mindful. He's been telling stuff like, I don't want to waste it. So I'm really proud of um, the young man that I'm raising. It's a child appreciation day. Okay, and then I um, took, I missed a step. I took my Hula Benefit bronzer on my eye. So I used bronzer to define my crease. I really like that. Then I'm taking Hasla Mean Money, like Fenty Highlight, to do my inner corners. I really like um, this highlight for inner corners or for the cheeks. It's, it's a gorgeous color. I haven't bought makeup <laughs> in so long. It's like, it doesn't even feel like me anymore. Like for me, like I would rather buy makeup than food, but the fact that I haven't done it, crazy. Okay, then I'm going to take, also I tried to sweeten my hair, but because I've been wearing my hair natural curly for the last two weeks, um, my hair just, it's very hard to straighten out, so I just gave up halfway through. Um, also, I wore a bra today after two weeks. I'm so proud of myself for wearing the bra. Like, literally put it on completely with hooks on and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> then I take my um, Fenty bronzer and 
I don't know how to say band girl badge. I don't know. Whatever. Like here. Then I bronze my face because summer winter. I love bronzing my face. I look. I love looking dark. I know brown people don't like looking dark, but I love looking dark. I feel like the darker you look, the I don't know. The more fun it looks like you're having in the sun. So I'm gonna load my face for it. Bronzer. Feels so good to wear makeup. I almost forgot how it feels to wear makeup. So I'm like getting excited wearing makeup. Maybe I should do it more often. Maybe I should wear makeup more often. I'm like really liking it. Okay. How about my cheeks? Let's put it on my forehead and my double chin to define it. Then my nose. I've been working out every day, but I've also been eating a lot. So I think I just got compensated for. Okay. Now that I'm sufficiently bronzed up, I'm going to do something. Um, I have this NYX Wonder Stick in Deep. I've been just contouring my new nose a little extra. It just looks really bum in the picture. So you do that. And it's like really creamy, so you can just like blend it with your finger and voila, it looks bronzed. Okay, and then here's my highlight because I cannot live without highlight. So I'm gonna use this one again, Haslami Money on my cheeks. Sorry, I don't have a vanity, so it keeps falling. So I'm gonna take it again. Um, you know, I love putting it all over my cheeks, not just like a strip, so it doesn't look like I just have a weird landing strip. It looks like it's evenly spread everywhere. Okay. Then I'm going to take <coughs> a little on my nose. So <coughs> I don't have corona, don't laugh at me. I just choked on my spit. Not that it's funny, like I'm not joking or anything. Okay, and then I want to um, put my blush. What should I use? I want to go for something really pink. I don't know what I have that's pink. Okay, so I'll just go with margin. Um, you know what? I am going to use something pink. Hold on. I have this NARS blush palette um, and I'm going to use this color called Desire. Okay, it's very pink. Very, very pink. Like, very pink. But I really do want to look very pink so it's fine. This goes perfectly with my look. Okay, I want to look very, very pink. I just ran out of the sun and I'm just like sun cast. <laughs> it looks really cute, I promise. Um, and then I will wear my brows and my mascara and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I did my lashes with my trusty telescopic mascara, um, my favorite drugstore mascara. Um, the more coats that you put on your eyes with this, the more it builds and the more you get full lashes. I'm obsessed with this mascara. It has a very minimum fallout. Um, I worked with this mascara for like 10 hours and nothing happens. Um, I don't flake. My Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil in brown. I really love this now. I used to not like it so much before. Then I'm gonna face mist my face with Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, I think it's perfect for summer because it gives you a dewy look. I do a lot because it's, it's a very fine mist um, so it takes like a lot of pumps to get the desired look I don't know why but it does and then I take my um, sponge and I just blend everything onto my face to make sure that everything is just seamless this is a very important step also just that you don't miss it 
then I'm going to be using a very cheap lipstick by Essence. Um, the color is called, I don't know, a Wanna Play number three. It's very cheap. The quality is like shit, but it goes with my outfit. So I'm going to wear it. Very fun, muted kind of pink. I have other colors that will go with it, but I think that's the closest. I have this thing, whenever I pick an outfit, I can close my eyes and see what lipstick I'm wearing. I just like see it in my head. Um, and I know that that's the only lipstick that's going to look at the best with this outfit. It is a very shit lipstick, very shit. Like it dries your lips and the applicator is pretty shit, <laughs> but I love the color. So. And when it dries, it looks like, uh, it feels like sandpaper on your lips. So, unless you like sandpaper look, I would say please stay away from this lipstick. So, I really like this look. I'll give you a closer look. I'm just waiting for the lipstick to dry because it looks better when it's dry. Okay. It's almost dry. So, it's a very simple but cute look because I have a lot of flushed pink in my cheeks and my lips. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching once again, and I hope all you stay safe. Um, please stay home and keep your family stay safe, keep other people safe. And I really hope we can get through this together. And, um, you know, if you are watching and if you want to talk, because sometimes quarantine can get really suffocating, you know, just DM me, let me know how you feel, and I'll chat. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and be safe. Have a great day and week and God, please let all of this be over soon. Bye.